black currants are increasingly popular, not just in jams and drinks, but also new products such as powders and packets of individually quick frozen berries. New Zealand blackcurrant varieties have a worldwide reputation for their high flavour and anthocyanin levels, fueling increased demand from food processors and consumers alike for this premium high health fruit. Since 1992, Plant and Food Research has partnered with the blackcurrant industry to provide new cultivars tailored for the New Zealand environment and new market demands. Jeff Langford managed the breeding program for over 20 years and is now a consultant to the industry. Yeah, well, I guess we started the breeding program because of the realisation that uh, the British standard varieties wouldn't work in our climate. The goals have always been uh, number one yield, number two market suitability and market suitability involved colour and vitamin C and flavour. Uh, so they are still pretty much the goals. The breeding programme contains a large collection of original varieties from Europe as well as new crosses from ongoing breeding work. So the process of actually creating new varieties is based on very traditional plant breeding methods whereby we take pollen from a male flower that we have traits that we desire and introduce them to the female flower and hope that they create a nice berry and generate seeds. Once this is done we then plant the seedlings out and there's a rigorous round of selection and the process takes quite a long time and at the end of it probably only one or two of that particular cross may make it into the final advanced selection stage at which time they are again rigorously selected for phenotypes, different phenotypes um, such as berry size or yield, bush habit and time of flowering. Another thing that we're trying to minimise the impact of is pests and diseases. So at the moment the breeding program is focusing on breeding resistance to gall mite pest as well as a clear wing pest. A major goal of the breeding program is producing varieties that require less winter chilling. And with rising world temperatures this is even more critical. Black currants are native to countries which have a lot colder winters than New Zealand and as well as that there's a global trend towards warmer winters. Both these issues combined means that New Zealand has really made a priority of breeding for low chill black currants. There have been 11 cultivars released from the program to date and two of them have been outstanding and that's Murchison and Blackadder. Murchison is a good all-rounder and it's resistant to gall mite and reversion virus. Blackadder is high yielding with a good flavour profile. It flowers early but so far it seems to avoid most of the frost incidences. Blackadder tends to flower a week to 10 days earlier than some of our other varieties and this gives us more chance of avoiding a dull period of weather when the flowers are out and the bees can work them for a longer period. The disadvantage is that being earlier it's a lot more prone to being affected by frost but over the last five or six years it seems to have missed all the frosts and we wonder if it might have a little bit of frost tolerance but it's still a huge advantage to have this flowering spread to date, uh, we've had a couple of varieties that have come out and very successful. Uh, our Blackadder is performing very well, and Murchison also is a good variety. But the most important thing about it is we've got a lot following up. The next series of breeding, we would have four or five varieties that are all very promising at this stage. And down to the stage of the stuff that's in the trial plots, another two or three generations down the line. So there's a gradual improvement all the way through. One of the exciting new cultivars which is in the pipeline is one called Kepler. It's got a really good flavour profile and is high yielding in a nice healthy bush. Kepler was fast tracked through the system because of its attributes that were suitable for Ribena, a major customer for the blackcurrant industry in New Zealand. Ribena brand's always been incredibly important to New Zealand blackcurrant industry but also the breeding programme itself and the breeding programme and the discussions we've had annually with the Ribena brand people about what they were looking for in a variety, they really drive uh, many of the important attributes that we're looking for. Well, I think one of the advantages of the breeding program is that it's produced varieties that has given growers more money, and as they've got more money, the volume of uh, production has increased from about 2,000 tonnes around uh, the turn of the century to about 8,000 tonnes now, so it's seen a substantial growth. 